So here's what <laughs> the winds and the rain and the leaves have done to the pool. As you can see, it's pretty filthy inside. It's terrible. Luke. We don't normally drain it down, but we are thinking this year, after the winter, we're going to drain down and jet spray everything clean and renew with water. Um, you can see the grass is coming back. It was a brown outage here because it was so hot, and now it's and now it's pouring with rain. Temperatures dropped and it's pouring with rain. And we've chosen to film this because it's our first day back, but it's probably a miserable, wet, overcast day. Probably not the right day. And um, Belinda's threatening to do something deeply bad with some secateurs and cutting the grapes back. And Miski is interested in what's going on. An incredible bonus we didn't know we were going to find. Um, look at these figs. I think these are the first ones that we've had since we've been here, Lee. I don't think we've had as many as this. I don't think it's ever figged before um, that tree. So and it's I'm, now figging in at the end of October. And these are October. ready to eat. They're quite soft. It's not many of them, but there's enough for you and I to do something with. You can have those with um, grilled, can't you, with blue cheese. And yeah, really. In, oh, don't, That'd be nice. Don't get me started. It's lunchtime um, now. And then really. I'm going to get the rest of these grapes, Lee. The grapes off, yeah. And uh, I think I'll mix some more of that grape jelly with them. Grape jelly. And Misty Dog. Misty Dog was pleased to see me back yesterday. She's weren't going you, Misty? to the groomers tomorrow. And so she's off to the groomers and the cats are all here as well. Uh, our potage has delivered its last of its tomatoes. So we've pulled the tomatoes out and it's all looking a bit barren. I've got some plans of what I'm going to do with this. And I, while I was in England, I picked up a book called No Dig Gardening, which is perfect for me. Sounds good, so I've got to read that and find out what I've got to do. And here comes one of the cats. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to have to go off and help Belinda. Lee's just um, clearing away the leaves and the grapes because I think he's concerned about it staining the, the travertine um, surround to the pool. I think it's okay though. I think it'd be alright. But look, I mean, the drain's really blocked as well, Lee. Yeah, I know. That's, I... I'm going to clear the drains when it's not wet. But man, it's We've got most of them though, haven't we? Yeah. Um, the other, the other uh, thing that's happened is our greenhouse is looking totally splendid. Take a look at that. So um, Dave, our gardener, um, spent some time clearing that out. So it's all ready now for next season. And also- Thank you, you Dave. If you, thank Watch you, Dave. You. And if you look over there towards the kitchen garden now, so we're just, I'm standing by the edge of the pool and you can see all those tomatoes. If you remember, we had sea, a sea of tomatoes. Uh, they've all gone now. I've picked them all in. I've used nearly all of them. I've got some green ones left that I'm going to make some chutney with, but. Sweets, some turnips. The salsify are still there, aren't they? Salsify is just here still. Um, then there's carrots, and I can't remember what this was. This is an unknown crop. radish. No radishes. Yeah. Are I they the black radishes? They're black radishes from um, they're nice, Bavaria. They're nice roasted, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've still got some. A radicio lettuce, and then this, these beds have now been emptied of the tomatoes. So I'm going to uh, rotate the crop next year, um, and I've still got some turnips down here. I'm going to pull out. You glad to be home? Uh, it's great to be back here. Yeah, it felt like real homecoming last night. We were proper log fire and. The dog and a hot dinner. A hot dinner and <laughs> the dog trying to nick my dinner and begging for scraps, Misty. Back to normal then. And the cats climbing over my head. I wouldn't be far from this place, I can tell you. Hello, oh, welcome to our wood store. <laughs> I'm, Slightly depleted. I'm going to say uh, there's a lot of cardboard in here as well. It's all, it's all for burning. We keep all our burning material in here. So let's have a look. So these are that's all the logs stacked up, ready to for burning. <laughs> I made quite a few fires while you were away. Yeah, I can see so there's quite a lot gone. For, <laughs> yeah. for the guests, yeah. because uh, at the current time, the chateau is heated by the uh, wood burning stove. So it's very important when we've got guests staying there that we keep the chateau nice and warm. So I have used quite a lot. 
Oh. And then we've had a couple of had a couple of fires in the cottage as well because it's been quite cold. Belinda, I know I've been gone three weeks, yeah. but has, has something affected your um, sense of colour since I was away? Oh, what, me? You're, yeah, you're normally so colour cold and that, and you've got turquoise <laughs> gnome shoes on. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've given up caring since you've been away. <laughs> one, of the, one of the nice things about France is you don't, you've got no reason to get dressed up, and this is normal day wear. Uh, yeah, but Paris might be a bit different. Paris is different. I had to get uh, dressed for Cannes Paris. And nice and yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in this part of rural France, I mean. That's keeping the wood dry. Right. So I'm a bit out of practice with this because I've been away for three weeks. So what are we doing next? So something really exciting happened this morning, Lee, didn't it? The postman arrived oh, yeah. this morning and I think Lee thought I'd been doing a lot of shopping while he was Yes, because normally when away. I'm away um, and Belinda does cooking, when I get back, I've seen a new gadget appear. Anyway, it was a lovely surprise and uh, we've been sent a gift, which we're going to show you now. We haven't opened it yet. Well, we've opened the outside we've taken a the bit, envelope off. but there's a beautiful box inside and we've not opened the box. We're going to save that and show you. I haven't got my glasses on, Lee, so I might need your help. Okay, to take the lid off. Oh, look. Oh, and there's a letter. So look, there's a card. Oh, that's lovely. And there's a letter. Um, oh, it's from Beryl. Isn't that lovely? So, um... Yeah, Beryl sent us a quilt, didn't she? A beautiful quilt. She did, yeah. Uh, and she sent us some plants and she sent us some seeds for the garden. So thank you very much. And thank you, Beryl. see what this is. Uh, oh, it's an advent calendar. How absolutely fantastic. Again, I can just about oh, see with my I've got to stop glasses. filming because I need to see what's in the book. Okay. Take your hat off indoors. Right, I'm taking the hat <laughs> off. Yeah, I'll hang it up there. Come on, let's show us what's in this. Right, show us what's so, in this box, Lee. First of all... Um, a big thank you to Beryl, Beryl Carrington. Thank you from thank both you of so us. Thank you so much. This is so This must have, you. whatever, let's have a look. We're very excited. Just the sheer weight of the box <laughs> must have cost a fortune in postage. Oh, oh wow, it's an advent calendar. Oh, it's fantastic. And there's, oh, there's two chocolates full out. Oh, I You're not be, allowed to eat those. I should be enjoying those. Oh, wow, um, look at that. For those of you that know Lee, you'll know that chocolate is one of his it's most my downfall. favourite things in I the have, world. I have two <laughs> fatal flaws, a love of chocolate and a love of Belinda. Oh, that's not Belinda. fatal. <laughs> Dear me. Well, it could be. It could be, yeah, I was going to say, hang on a minute. So, I think we're going to hang oh. this in the chateau somewhere. Um, we need to find a really nice spot. What about near the fireplace? That might be quite good. I'm in the box. <gasps> My goodness me, look at all those. There's loads of other things. things. What are they? They've all got numbers on them. Numbers on. So these have got to be are each day of Christmas. Day? Yeah, oh that's a number six. Goodness me. Wow, Beryl, <laughs> what have you done? Really? Is this this very is naughty? over the top. It's a, it's a lovely thing. It's not what over a the top. lovely it's absolutely gift. Absolutely lovely. Thank it's you so beautiful. much. Beautiful. Thank you so much. This is amazing, Beryl. Thank you so much. And obviously, we're not going to open them now. Although Lee normally likes ripping presents open. I do. I, I must admit, to. I have a push on for presents. So we're going to wait, especially for, Christmas. To wait for December. We're going to start opening them in December, but this is. We're very, very grateful. Thank you. The problem this is, Lee, is I'm not going to be here at the beginning of December, so. So I get double the chocolate. <laughs> Lee's just come back, <laughs> um, but I've got to go in. Just uh, just under three weeks' time, I am going back to Kent to see our family. I will be quarantining as Lee did for two weeks, and then I will spend two weeks visiting our family and friends and seeing the new babies, which is ever so important. Can I just say also, having been through two weeks quarantining myself, if there's anyone out there watching this that's currently in quarantine, I can empathise with your position, and I really hope that these little vlogging videos that we do actually give you a lift because I know it can be quite hard um, and I'm worried about Belinda when she goes because she's going to have two weeks I'm absolutely fine in, in a room so now we've got to find a place to hang it's it lovely. must have taken ages to knit that it's, it's glorious <laughs> colours very Christmassy okay so we're going to try and find shall try under the moose oh yeah try it under the moose we've got this a nail, moose head that someone, some friends of ours that stayed here for Christmas from New Zealand there's once. There's nowhere to hang that on there. Is there any, anywhere? No. What about near the fireplace? I know there's chocolate in it. 
So we need to be careful. If we light a fire, we just have to... There's a nail there, care. look. Right, okay. By the clock... Oh, look, that's very Christmassy. Oh, there's By one the, there. The fire, the clock. Okay, hold on. Oh, look. Hey, that looks good. Oh, it's very quick. Look, fire, candle, rocking chair, and oh, clock. and chocolate. Here and chocolate. Right. While you're away, I you should be rocking there. in the chair by the fire, <laughs> eating me chocolate. <laughs> very good. Thank that's you, That's brilliant. Carol. That's really, honestly, that's so charming. So just before we say goodbye, I thought you'd like to take a quick look at the... Oh yeah, I'd like to see this as well, back, actually. Because this has changed a lot since you've been away, Lee. Yeah. The leaves have all... Oh, look at the colours of the leaves. Look. look. Let's get out here. Let's have a look. Outside. So here's, here's the view of the valley. Very autumnal view. Yeah. The leaves dropping off the trees now. I love the colours. Look at the, the colours of greens and yellows. The river's so fast flowing now. Do you remember? It, it wasn't like about a month ago. That was like a mill pond. It was completely still. And let's just spin round so we can have a look at the Virginia creeper. Which still is still a bit clinging there. There's the still leaves. some there. And here. And there. There. Up underneath the castle windows. And down all over the. So here's oh, a view of the sky pretty, garden. Actually. It's nice and green and the again. Greenery. That's the roof of the bread oven. Right. Going back. There's a view down the river. You can't even see the river properly. It's so full. Yeah, yeah, you can just sit down there. Your shoulder. That's all. I'm way too. I've, I've grown. I've grown. <laughs> so, <you've> been away. <laughs> we just wanted to show you. Lee's just there. come. Lee's just come home. <laughs> And I just said, why don't we say hello to everybody and just reflect on, on what's been happening here during the past three weeks. Yeah. Thank you ever so much for watching us. Uh, there is plenty more to come. Uh, and we are so appreciative, as always, for liking us, subscribing, telling all your friends. Every little bit helps us. And we will see you very soon. And tonight I shall get a nice glass of French red wine. Will you? Yeah. Maybe some dinner. Some dinner as well. And a fire. See you soon. See you soon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye bye.